I am excited for these ones. After trying the three preamps, the saturators and EQ collection from Arturia, we've seen that in a previous video. If you haven't seen it, check that out because those things are killer. This is the time for their three compressor suite. Let's see how they sound. Hello everyone, welcome back to MixWest TV. Hope you're having a great day. Before we start, if you like the channel, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon, check the info box down below for all my mixing courses, links to the plugins that we are gonna test today and a bunch of discounts on plugin. If you wanna support MixWest TV, we have a Patreon page and a bunch of t-shirts down there. Let's get to the video. I think at this point in time, it's safe to say that Arturia with their offering on plugins is up there at the top of the food chain. We've seen the preamps and they are absolutely gorgeous sounding. And today we are testing their compressor collection as it was for the three preamps. We have three legendary classic units, uh, the 1176, the VCA 165 and the stat level. So three topology, we have the FET compressor, the VCA and the tube compressor. We all know what the controls on the front panel do for each unit, they've been around forever. One thing that I wanna mention that I absolutely love about Atria plugins is that they have a resizable GUI. So if you have real estate, you can make the GUI as big as you want or smaller if you don't have a bigger screen. And look, I'm usually skeptical when there's another iteration of a classic unit. There are so many out there, but Arturia really blew my mind with the saturators. I've already tried these ones and as for the saturators, the preamps, they are legit. Without further ado, let's see how they sound. I'm going to start with the 76 on vocals, one of my favorite applications for this compressor. Before I start, one thing to notice, uh, and it's common for all the three compressors, we will see that, is you have a panel here that you can open and you have additional control. In this case, we have extended sidechain control, internal or external, time warp, snap or loose, and high pass, low pass filter, and another additional band. Uh, of equalization for the sidechain, whether it is internal or external. A compression range, which is something I think all compressors should have, so it doesn't matter what the settings are. For example, you wanna drive the input a lot, but you don't wanna compress more than 6 dB, there you have it, you can do it here by using the compression range. And of course, you can listen to the sidechain. But let's start with the normal controls, no additional controls on the vocals. So let me close the panel. So unembraceable and at last Look you dead in the eyes The peel off the sky All is erasable And there's nothing left here for you and I Oh, I can already tell the behavior is totally legit. So pay attention to that first burst of volume which is totally uncontrolled when it's not compressed by the 76. Let me play it for you. The peel off the sky, all is erasable, and there's nothing left here. Okay, so gigantic dynamic uh, excursion. So with the 76. The peel off the sky, all is erasable, and there's nothing left here for you and I. And I'm not, it's already level matched. You can tell it's actually a little lower in level than the original but notice the tone of it like it already it already kind of polishes and get rid of that brittle at the top the peel off the sky all is erasable and there's nothing left here for you without all is erasable and there's nothing left wow it, it really controls the dynamic in a very organic way. All is erasable and there's nothing left here for you and I. It sounds great. It sounds great. Both the tone and the behavior are, to this point, I think the closest I've heard to the, not even the universal audio, the uh, old URA 1176. Let me try to play with the compression range a little bit. All is erasable and there's nothing left here for you and I. So I didn't change anything you can see and I can limit the compression, the gain reduction to how many dB I want. If you don't want to squash that part too much. All is erasable and there's nothing left here for you and I. On this vocals, I don't even need to like play with the external control or the band equalizer, it's just 
perfect. Let me try a little bit of saturation going overboard in all bottom mode just to have fun. All is erasable and there's nothing left here for you and I. All is erasable and there's nothing left here. For and we have a mix knob so I can blend in. All is erasable and there's nothing left here for you and I. All is erasable and there's nothing left here for you and I. Sounds great. Sounds absolutely great. Um, again, um, very, very close to the old 76. I don't know which model in particular they modeled. Let me try this one on a male vocal. So let me be what you ask me, please. So touch down your heart to my chest And fix what needs fixing Cause you are what I believe in There you go, by now we can tell Arturia knows how to do saturation So let me be what you ask me, please so touch down your heart to my chest And fix what needs fixing Cause you are what I believe in And I love how the saturation is not harsh at all It actually sounds like it's rounding up uh, the top end Which I absolutely love So let me be what you ask me, please so touch down your heart to my chest And fix what needs fixing I wanna try this one on, um, on a snare or drums or overhead Something like that, an application we all use the 1176 for And then we'll try the other ones on vocals as well Let's start with the snare, maybe how it brings up the ring and the details of the ghost notes. Of course, I'm using extreme settings here just you know, to make it obvious in the video and to see how it performs at extreme settings. I would definitely use it a little more conservative for this one. Let's go back to Regan Romance vocals and try the tube star. I'm very curious about this one. So unembraceable and at last Look it dead in the eyes The peel off the sky All is erasable And there's nothing left here for you and I Why do we even try? There's nothing left here We lost our whole world in one Wow, if you're not familiar with the star level, it's a slowish, creamy compressor. I don't have that much experience with the original hardware or the reissue, but I know this one sounds great. So unembraceable and at last, look it dead in the eyes, the peel off the sky. All is erasable and there's nothing left here for you and I. You can tell how natural the compression on this one sounds. Combine this one with 1176 to take care of the first peaks, you have a killer combo. So unembraceable and at last, look it dead in the eyes. And you can tell the three modes single, so you can read it at the bottom. Single uses the temporal response of the compressor, single is a slow response, triple has a faster attack time with double adapt. His response. So this one, the double would be some sort of auto. So unembraceable and at last, look it dead in the eyes, the peel off the sky. Sounds absolutely great. I have another vocal I want to try it on. All I ever wanted was to stand my ground. Big words to confuse and spin your mind around. But every little stab just takes me further down I found my soul just waiting in the lost and found Babe, it's nothing you did So stop talking stupid 
We gave it a taste, now it's done. I'm out for self healing. You ain't got that feeling. I am the one that I. All I ever wanted was to stand my ground. Big words to confuse and spin your mind around. So very smooth, it's really well done. I want to try this one on bass really quick. I just loaded this peaky bass and you can tell uh, the saturation of it. So this one saturates by pushing the output. And it sounds nice. Listen to these two notes without. Let's unloop that and use the high pass filter, see how that works. style level behavior more like a leveler a gentle leveler uh, as opposed to uh, short terms quick dynamic events I totally love it and the fact that you have advanced sidechain control on all of them it's great the saturation on both the 1176 and this one are very impressive I'm curious to see how it performs on piano I think I found my favorite compressor for piano. <laughs> Let's try the VCA 75, the old DBX 75 on acoustic guitar first. Love it. Uh, the details it brings up is great. All three of them, they are not overdone. It's not too much saturation, it's not too much emphasis. They are pretty, they remain pretty close to the original material. The action of the compression is very organic. It, it's very analog-like, I know. It sounds like bullshit, it's not. They, they are legit. The auto attack release function, nailed it. I actually had this unit in my very first studio. Uh, a producer friend of mine just left it there for a long time, so I'm familiar with it. Like, you can't, it's hard to replicate the auto attack release on this unit. They, they did it right, and the acoustic guitar is a tough instrument to compress. So I wanna try this one on drums, which was what I was usually using it when I had the original unit. Granted that the DBX is more for like single tracks, like kick and snare, um, that's usually what I use it for, but, or mono room to squash it. I actually have a, a trick with the limiter, like to basically distort it with a pick stop limiter up here. We will try that. There, there you go. Uh, listen to that snap on the snare. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, this is nice. This is really nice. I have another version of the DBX in plugin form. It's not there. This one is legit. And again, I'm using auto attack release. They nailed it. So this is what I was doing uh, back then when I had the original unit. I usually sent a mono room to the, 70, to the 75 and just squash it with limiter just before everything started to go to shit. You can do it with this one. It's pretty much the same as far as I can remember. And here you have a dry comp mix. Keep in mind that the limiter will soft clip the transient, so it's uh, something to keep in mind, especially if you're using it. Right now I'm using it on the whole drum bus just for the video, but you wanna use it on single tracks is a lot better. One thing to notice is when you open a stereo uh, instance of these, of these plugins, in the advanced side chain control, you have a full mid side encoder decoder. So you can have a reverse dual linked mid only side only that's great. Mid only, let me see how that sounds. This compressor is so snappy, I love it. I absolutely love it. You see I'm using the high pass filter to uh, not have the compressor reacting to the kick drum too much. I got some news in the mail today to say I gotta sound like I ain't saying his name, he never said my name and all my mate. I'm equally as sick, but just more in a bit. It was a born in the land of the brave with the blood stains and cupcakes and third days where you get the third base. Um, I mean, fornicate and demonstrate your textbook sex look. Oh, yeah, you can't fuck, but you can't say it. You gotta suck to get to be famous. All three of them definitely do not emphasize the high end, the high mid range, like most plugins do. If anything, they do, like I said before, a roll off, even this one, and I'm a fan of it. We can definitely do the 76 on a loop. Yeah, I, I like it because even a fast release, it doesn't have the usual artifacts that really fast releases on plug-in compressor have. Um, I want to try the, the 70, the 65, I'm not getting it right today. This might be my favorite of the three. Again, as for the three preamps that we tried, Arturia did a really, really great job. As I wrote in the title of the other ones, I think, well, not I think, it's no doubt, these are the best native alternative to UAD. Um, I never compared the two. I know that it's hard to beat these ones. Anyway, this is it for this video. I hope you liked it. I hope it was useful. If you did like it, please don't forget to leave a like. Comment down below. Check out the info box for links to these plugins, a bunch of plugins discount, my mixing courses, and stay tuned because there are big news. I'm getting a new 
uh, mixing room with main monitors, desks, and all the gear and all that. We will start a series, a video series on it soon. This is probably going to be the last video that I do here because we are dismantling today. <laughs> so it's definitely the last one. Also keep an eye on our social media shortly after the release of this video. We are going to do a live stream with Bella, my artist in it. She's going to be there with me. We're going to talk about artist development, music business, studio work. You can ask me questions about anything. You can ask her questions as well. Thank you for watching. Follow Mixbus TV on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time.